The doctor is in. Hi guys, this is your pal Dr. Sal, and today we're going to be looking at lab results when on a keto diet. Does it make that much difference? And I will illustrate with some real life lab examples. So a brief preamble of uh, how I first came across the keto diets is um, there was an internal medicine specialist in my area and he was seeing some of my patients and started sending some of them back on this thing I'd never heard of called a keto diet. Well, when some of these patients started itemizing to me the things that he was telling them to eat, bacon, eggs, dairy, milk products, I was like, what? I thought he had honestly gone to the dark side. But being of scientific mind, I decided to um, give it a try myself. Uh, sorry, not on myself, but with my patients, I said, okay, um, he recommended this thing to you. You go ahead, we're gonna do some pre-labs and some labs after a few months of being on it. And to be honest, I was absolutely astonished and blown away by the results. I have seen not one, but several people losing 50 or 60 pounds within six months. But the more important question is, while they're losing this uh, weight, if you're eating all these, this fat and blubber, is it causing internal, um, internal problems for you while you're um, on it? So just because you see all these fabulous results on the outside, is it causing harm on the inside? Is basically what we're gonna try to answer in this episode. So study, case study number one. This is actually the gentleman who started it all for me um, into this discovery about the keto diets. So obviously I've uh, taken off names or redacted it. So what we have here, the first result is uh, a couple years ago, uh, 2016. Um, this is a cardiac patient, had suffered a heart attack, was taking statins and I think Ezetrol too to lower cholesterol. Saw this specialist I was talking about, uh, recommended the keto diet and this were the results just using the drugs um, in the past. So you can see here the cholesterol I'll read it out for you because it might not be too clear. Cholesterol was 5.73. Ideally, you want it to be about 5.2 or less. So this was two years ago before the keto diet. So even taking all these uh, statin drugs and um, uh, fat absorption uh, interrupters, he was still uh, ticking along a little above ideal. Now compare that, there's the same person uh, relatively recently at time of uh, shooting. This is in November now, two years later. Look at that. Here's the cholesterol. Cholesterol reading there and 5.04. Perfect, right to target, right on the money. So it's examples like this that first made me realize that there's gotta be something to this and it wasn't madness. So I'm now a believer myself and uh, I'd even say maybe a slight evangelist for people trying to keto diet. Now that's not to say it's perfect in every single case. This was a case where this person's uh, Achilles heel was cholesterol. That's what led them up to uh, a heart attack. Um, this person was also very keen and stuck to the diet and also uh, did regular exercise um, walking around, a, what do you call those, uh, like a stadium track. So this person, you, you get out of it what you put into it. So this person was keen, uh, zealous at it and excellent results, amazing actually. In, in fact, I would say better than just drugs alone. Now, uh, like I said, that doesn't mean every single case is perfect. This is a relatively recent case. Uh, in this case, it's a different problem. It's a metabolic um, case where this individual has diabetes. So uh, back in December 2018, sorry, let's start reverse it around. So back in March of 2018, this is the individual's uh, readings of the cholesterol load prior to starting the keto diet. And you can see you want it to be less than 5.2. This is cholesterol here. You want it less than 5.2, 5.40. So a little ticking a little above ideal. So this is before starting the keto diet um, with that specialist I uh, talked about. And then this is uh, three quarters of a year later in December of the same year, 2018. So you can see all the, the dates here. I think you can make that out. Uh, there's a date here. 
and this is the pulse gate here. And um, look at that. The cholesterol, even though this person is eating a bunch of eggs, bacon, eggnog, um, dairy products, ice cream, all kind, well, sorry, not ice cream because of the sugar, unless it's sugar free. But the point is, on a very fatty, high protein diet, which to me before was anathema to health, this person's cholesterol has actually fallen. So their cholesterol has gone from 5.4 before being on this high blubber diet and protein to 5.18, almost perfect when the target is 5.2. Is that not phenomenal? I can tell you it blew my mind when I started seeing these results coming back. So again, the big advantage of the keto diet and is uh, the intense amount of weight loss, like spectacular amounts of weight loss uh, unlike anything I've seen before except using uh, weight loss drugs and if you consider the additional effects of losing so much weight less um, less joint pains because there's less weight on your joints uh, improve metabolic efficiency as you just saw there with the cholesterol metabolism uh, self-esteem stuff you, you look better you feel better and an another few anecdotal cases of people who come back not only do they feel healthier and better I've even seen um, one asthmatic that hardly ever has to use their inhaler anymore since changing their diet. Like stuff that just seems absolutely absurd. So anyway, uh, that's my little spiel there on the keto diet and how it affects your lab results rather than adversely, virtuously. So thank you so much for watching and have a terrific rest of your day. And remember if you're suffering, if you're uh, not if you suffer with some kind of chronic illness and you're thinking of embarking on a keto diet good for you I think that's a terrific idea, but you should still be monitored uh, by a doctor as those two cases that I just um, Illustrated were. thanks again Thanks for watching get notified of new videos subscribe now If you found this video helpful support us by sharing it with all of your friends and throw us a like below You're a star cheers and cheerio.